Ah, uh, shut up. Hey guys, it's G. And it's Nick. And we're here to review Solo, a Star Wars story. So, Han Solo, a solo story, pretty much the origins of the scoundrel we have known, we have grown up with. In yeah. Han Solo, well, more so you than me, because again, I'm a prequel kid, and uh, we like to call those the Dark Ages of Star Wars. Can't wait for the Jar Jar Binks one Can, to come out. Oh, Jar Jar Binks. Wait. Just starts from a little egg. Yeah. A yeah. little pod. Beautiful. First, we did a uh, episode on our live show um, talking about how do we actually care. And yeah. I think we both were in agreement. It's like, nah. Nah. Also, there's some don't. backstage issues. Lord and Miller were the original directors. Apparently, they were going on a different direction that no one was into. They fired them. They brought in Ron Howard. And there was a lot of reshoots, a lot of redos and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm actually surprised they pulled off the movie that they pulled off. Agreed. Just based on that alone, because they were already well into production at that point. Mm -hmm. Nick, what did you like about it? Spoiler free. You know... <laughs> I hate to be this guy, hey, but I, I, there wasn't a lot that I really liked. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, I think it was better than I thought it would be in terms of like, you know, the storyline, whatever. But, mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of that was because I had such low expectations going into it. Cause I'm like, nobody really cares. Right. Yeah. Um, I liked, um, how they, they kind of told the story to an extent, um, I thought the action scenes were pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked some of the fight scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked a lot of the cameos, like the, you know, in terms of, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but in terms of like who played what characters and like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, like, you know. It's actually surprising. It's surprising. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I didn't recognize uh, Khaleesi from <laughs> Game of Thrones at first. I was like, why is that voice familiar? Yeah, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. it's Because her hair was dyed. Because her hair was dyed. So, I mean, that fooled was, him. fooled me big time. But you didn't um, see any of the trailers, did you? No, that's I didn't. why that I didn't. explains it. Yeah, I didn't see any of the trailers. I pulled an Anthony on that one and yeah, actually totally did. went in straight. Um, I liked how they kind of you know with Woody Harrelson's character. Mm -hmm. I like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the uh, the banter back and forth, all that kind of stuff. Um, I like the fact that they didn't try to be too funny. You know, I, and that was the issue why they fired the original directors because yeah. uh, Alden Elric, who plays on Solo, was like, "I feel like I'm Ace Ventura right now," and yeah. they were going in a completely comedic route, very you know, Batman Lego Batman yeah. style. No. It was overall like it was meh. Yeah, meh. Like yeah. is that about? I don't know. What do you think? Like you um, at no yeah. point were you like, yeah, like no one not when like when Thor came in. Oh god, and you were just ever. gung ho. I, I, I screamed. I, yeah. I think I peed a little bit. Yeah, you cried when Chewbacca came out of it. I noticed, which was cute. Yes. Yeah, like yeah there was a little tear. There was tier. a single, single tear. Yeah. Um, okay. Knowing what's happened with behind the scenes, like we mentioned, I'm impressed that they were able to pull this movie off. I yeah. thought it was going to be a lot worse. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed, like you mentioned, the action sequences. The cinematography was actually quite good. Yeah. Uh, specifically on their first mission. Yeah. Um, just the backdrop that they had looked beautiful. The lighting was really nice. All of that was really good. The sequences themselves, they were coherent. Um, I wasn't lost in a shaky cam and 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 yeah. what's going on here. All of a sudden, just a lot of things happening and then boom. I, I was watching Han Solo. I felt like I was watching Han Solo. Yeah. Not Harrison Ford Han Solo, but maybe the younger Han Solo they were trying to uh, produce. They were yeah. trying to show us. So I believed I was watching Han Solo. I liked the interaction between Solo and Chewie. Yeah. The first time was a little bit too, like, yeah. you know, well, which we'll get we'll into get later. Into the spoiler part, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then there was some emotional weight to some parts not having to do with Solo himself. Yeah. I really liked um, Woody Harrelson as Tobias Beckett. I thought he was the, I, I would I would say he was the best part in it. Yeah. Um, they never showed one of the characters in the trailer, so I won't tell you who our actual baddie is. Yeah. But, um, I, yeah, uh, I thought Woody Harrelson really did a good job. I thought Donald Glover did okay. Mm -hmm. I wasn't over the moon with him, but I no. did like his robot L3 a lot more than him. I, I agree. Yeah. I was actually into L3 a lot. Do we know whose voice that was? Phoebe Waller-Bridge was L337. Okay. Never heard of her before. Me she either. was quite good. Yeah. Like Lando's character? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I couldn't care. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like Lando in Star Wars is pretty cool. Yeah. Like I, I thought like, but uh, you know, I mean, some of the story that they had, the... Uh, 
you know, and I don't think I'm ruining this, but they had like kind of like a poker game or whatever. Sure, yeah. Um, Which no, you, the, again, for those of you in the trailer, there yeah. was that scene where we first there you they go. first introduced him and he's like reaching across and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, the interaction that he had there and just mm-hmm. kind of showing how he was as a character just through that game, I thought that was done really well. Right. Um, in terms of you know the rest of it, like I just. Like I said, there was no point where I thought like, yeah, like this is awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, it was just kind of like this, the whole movie. Uh, at no point was I, you know, um, like that throwback, that reflective moment, like, oh yeah, like from the original, like, you know, except right. for one scene near the end, which we'll talk about later. Yeah. But I just, I was not, yeah, I, I don't know. Just I wasn't just, invested in it. I wasn't invested in it. Yeah. I just couldn't care. And that's, sorry. Hey, man, uh, for me, again, of all the, 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 the decent things that were there, they were just decent. Lando, I'm a huge, huge fan of Donald Glover. I'm more, like, I'm a fan of his music stuff. I'm a fan of his his, perform- his acting. The guy is just incredible. Mm-hmm. So I my bar for him, I was like, he's going to save this movie for yeah. me. And I was a little bit let down from him. Um, I felt the structure of the story. You can tell there was a lot of editing involved. And you can tell where the tonal shifts were happening, where it was going super serious like a Ron Howard movie. Yeah. And when it was still incorporating some of the funny stuff from Lord and Miller, some of the splicing together of those moments weren't as clean cut. Yeah. Uh, the other issue I have was they shoved all of the Han Solo lore that we learn in 4, 5, and 6. Mm-hmm. Into the first twenty or thirty minutes. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. Which again, we'll we'll say it in our spoiler spoiler review video. I felt no consequences to anything. We knew I knew that they were going to get out of anything that they were going to get out of. Yeah. And <laughs> I I was more interested in how they were going to get out of it. And yeah, so it, it felt a lot of uh, telling me the coolness that we learn about Han Solo, and and showing me really in an on the nose way. Yeah. Uh, that was a great way to put it. Actually. And then. Yeah. The all the other way I would put the other thing I want to mention was the the action scene. One of the action scenes felt more like a later on type of thing. It felt a little bit rushed at times. We have our first sequence, we get into our second sequence, and then we get into our first big sequence, which almost felt like a third act sequence. Yeah. Right. And when when certain things happen, I had no emotional connection to any of the characters involved. So whatever happened to some and what happened to others didn't really mean anything. Yeah. I understood what they went with with the story. But for me, it didn't mean as much. Well, Out of so. 10, what would you give it? Mm, I stopped reading things a little while ago. I'd probably give this like a 5. Like uh, just a 50-50. That's where I'm at too. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was Wasn't it was fine. awful? No. And like, and that was my fear was like, I thought it was going to be just, just garbage. to watch. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, like, I, I, at no point in the movie was I, I, I can't say I was like, bored per mm-hmm, se mm-hmm. like i just but again i was just kind of flat like it just kind of was yeah. like yeah you know i was watching it and by the time you knew it was done so yeah and it was just ultimately inconsequential yeah um and it, and it felt like just the the motivation to the character of han solo for what he was originally doing to what he ended up doing and, and everything like that was more like we know where this is going and Agreed. we can kind of see it so again ultimately it was inconsequential yeah um some decent stuff in there, some decent cinematography, some good action scenes. Again, for me, it was Chewie and Han together, which was good. Lando was a bit disappointing. He wasn't awful, but it was yeah. just, I was, for some reason, I was expecting something different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's our spoiler-free review of Solo, A Star Wars Story. Have you seen it? Let us know in a spoiler-free way in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter at the FWords G. Email us at the F-word podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts on Instagram. You can also catch us on Podbean, Pocket Cast, Radio Tune. Apple Music. We do a lot of audio stuff now. Uh, I got deep dive episodes and our live shows are going up there. And until next time, I'm G. I'm Nick. And we're out.